Hey my sweet pen friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devin. Well, the title of this video says it all. I have inked up too many fountain pens for my liking. It has sort of spilled over from my first attempt at hashtag 30 inks 30 days, but as they say, there's no use in crying over spilled milk. Instead, I thought I'd use this opportunity to share what I have currently inked in these fountain pens. If you're wondering why I'm so weird about having too many inked fountain pens, I'm going to direct you over to my weird fountain pen habits video. I'll have that linked here in the cards and in the description box below so you can get a better understanding as to why. But I did see this as an opportunity because it's actually been a while since I've done a currently inked fountain pens video. I don't regularly do them since I, with the exception of now, usually keep the number of fountain pens. I have inked up to three to five pens at a time. I did decide when I started my ink journal that I would keep a monthly pen and ink log just to get an idea of what pens and ink combinations I tend to use the most. Is that something you guys would be interested in seeing? A regular update on my currently inked fountain pens? Let me know in the comment section below. And I promise I haven't forgotten about sharing an update on my ink journal. I actually haven't made very many changes since I initially made a video about it, but there is an update coming soon, so be sure to stick around for that. If you haven't seen my ink journal setup, I'll have that linked in the cards and that'll give you a better idea idea of how I wanted to format everything. One of the reasons it's nice to keep a currently inked log is so you can stay organized and you can remember what's inked in what pen. Funnily enough, I have no idea what's actually inked in this pen, my Lamy Lux Rose Gold. I thought I knew but now I'm not so certain, and it's actually because I thought I had something else inked in my Pilot Lucina fountain pen. Thankfully, I referred back to my ink log and saw what was actually in my Pilot Lucina fountain pen, but now I have no idea what's in my Lamy Lux. It's a complete mystery. So take it from me, please learn from my mistakes, my sweet pen friends. It's definitely worth it to stay on top of and keep an ink log because sometimes inks look too similar to one another. This is especially helpful if you keep a lot of fountain pens inked up at once and it's not something that I'm used to so this is a very vital resource in keeping my inks and pens organized. I will say that most of these pen and ink combinations are the same as last month, so in theory I should be able to remember what's inked in what pen, but as I have just shared with you, that was not the case. For those of you who have already watched my Weird Fountain Pen Habits video, you'll know that I like to finish all the ink in my pens before flushing them out and refilling them, so that's one reason as to why these pen and ink combinations are pretty much the same as last month. In addition to this, if I find a pen and ink pairing that I like, I have a tendency to stick with it and not stray away. The only exceptions to this are if I've used up all the ink and am just unable to re-ink it with the same thing, or if I do decide to try something new, it will most likely be an ink within the same color family. Do you guys do this too? Or is this just another weird fountain pen habit of mine? Let me know in the comment section below. Speaking of re-inking my pens within the same color family, I tried a new ink called Vinta Inks Demili Terracotta. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly but that was my attempt. I have this inked in my Sailor Pro gear and it's quickly become one of my favorite fountain pen inks. Prior to Demili Terracotta, I had my Sailor Pro gear inked with Robert Oster Dutch Peach. So the fact that Vinta inks Demili Terracotta had some orangey vibes, I thought it would be nice to try. When I think about 
my favorite color for fountain pen inks. Red oranges don't really come to mind, but with this ink, I am being shown what I have been missing out on. <laughs> I think what really impressed me is that I recently moved back into an old notebook for my morning pages. It has 100 GSM paper and I just wasn't really expecting much in terms of fountain pen friendliness because I acquired this notebook long before I discovered the wonderful world of fountain pens. And to give you an idea, I, I'll use my Twisby RG2 with an extra fine nib and Lamy black ink. It just, it's not a good pairing for that, that pen, ink, and paper, but I used my Sailor Pro gear and Vinta Inks Demili Terracotta. The ink shading was superb. I cannot stress enough how how gorgeous it was. I was just in awe and I am definitely a fan of this ink. P.S. If you need some suggestions for awesome fountain pen friendly notebooks, I'm going to link a recent video here in the cards where I share my current favorites so you can check it out. I'll also have links and more resources about this currently inked lineup in the description box below. I do hope and am aiming to pare down the number of fountain pens I have currently inked, but really only time will tell. Ideally, I'd like to get back down to three, maybe five fountain pens at most. That feels a bit more manageable than what I have currently inked now. And again, that's my own personal preference and it's what helps me enjoy and get the most out of the fountain pen hobby. I would love to hear from you. What do you have currently inked in your fountain pens? And do you have a favorite pen and ink combination for this month? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with a pen friend who you think might also enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and to turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss any of our videos. I do my best to upload here every Wednesday at 8 a.m. PST, so please take care until then feel free to enjoy these two videos linked here on the screen. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.